And we're back with some more of a machine for pigs. And hopefully this time some interesting things will happen. Or else I'll have nothing to talk about. And I'll have to go back to mocking the game. Which is never good. I don't want to jump up there. Oh yeah. Mandisco Meat Processing Factory. Well that looks like that'll be interesting. Let's go in. And it's more of the darkness inside stuff again. Oh, what are you... Can I use this thing? I'm kind of cool if I could have used it, but oh well. And press the button. Why not? I guess I have to take this box away. Is the door open? It does not. But there is ages and boxes and the like on that. So that means absolutely nothing to me. Let's go back outside. <sighs> what is this? Oh, do I have to repair this thing? Or is it working? Oh wait, no. There we go. Put this in here. And, um... Not like that. Almost like that. Yeah, come on. He's just go in. Go in. You're not supposed to go in like that, are you? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> come on. That is not supposed to go in here yet. It looks like it is, though. It's kind of... It's kind of being a bit of a pain, but it... Please go in. <laughs> go in. <sighs> this is an annoying part. This is bugging me. See, now I'm starting to think it's not supposed to go in. Alright, I'll have another look around before I try to do that again. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot happening, really. I'm, I mean, there was more happening at the start there because the story hadn't been introduced to us. Now there's just kind of nothing happening out in the open. Hopefully that changes. It's a bit disheartening. Oh. Hey, which way do you want to go? This way. So that box is definitely supposed to go in there. Actually, the journal popped up. So, a strange container. This canister looks as if it may fi fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and op the opportunity, perhaps, to gain access to St. Dunstan's. So, oh, so this is the engine. Okay. I reckon it's not supposed to go in in that state. Let's see if there's anywhere else I can go. Oh, I'm getting a bit confused now. I'll just leave that there, there's no point bringing it around. Just slow me down. I can go back in through that window. Also move this and go back in through the door. Oh, in my way again. Oh, that's that place. It's such a weird design to this entire place, really. I mean, the art style is great. I mean, uh, it's one of the more definitely appealing parts of this game. Ah, oh, that's it, that's it. I get it now, I get it. Uh, I completely forgot about that thing. I'll go grab the battery. So, yeah. I'm still considering what other games to play, really. Um, this is the only one, well, and Outlast, but... Uh, for obvious reasons, I don't want to go back to Outlast just yet. You know, too many of this type of game at one at the same time won't be that good. But I might go back to it tonight if this isn't as interesting. And I shall spin this. Spin faster. Why not? You know, you go at your own pace. Good day to you too, good sir. No, oh, you excuse me. I have things to get back to. Oh god, hurry. Well, let's just get going nice and quick, shall we? Before Sally comes back. 
Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was much easier. And this way. Oh, hey! Progress. I noticed the insanity effects are pretty much gone from this as well. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course we should take it home. Or not. I guess they're the insanity effects for this time. There's a nice grave. What's in here? What? Oh, dodgy mirrors. Wow, I don't even know why that's there. Okay, well let's go in here. Or not. Or yes. Livestock and Bibles. Higgledy piggledy blue china eyes. My love comes to me in my fairest disguise. We skips and we totters. I seize her hind trotters and enter her porcelain thighs. Well, that's something. It's a lot more ambiguous than the first amnesia was, that's for sure. I guess that's the influence of uh, Dear Esther, developers in it. Or directors, rather. Well, this looks certainly more interesting. Oh, I like that. I like that type of door. I like this type of door too. <gasps> Two sets of them. My day is made. <gasps> oh, I'll never guess what I just found. Another set of these doors. They're gonna be everywhere, aren't they? Anyway, moving on. Uh, more readings. More strange noises. More nothing. Never fear, a Bible is here. And more nothing. Let's do the readings. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint. Casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with a secret. But he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says we'll enter our world into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. So the pigs aren't of this world. That's a nice way to greet visitors, slaughter them. Well, I guess that's what most countries do. Anyway, moving on before I say anything stupid. Again. What have we got here? Curtains which are very heavy because I can't walk through them. Okay, I thought there was something over there. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. More backstory again. Yeah. <sighs> Hmm, which way do I go? Well, I can go this way. I can go this way. Anything noteworthy? Oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Oh, more readings. Oh no, a long one. <laughs> Father Jeremiah's Journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, where once I had them walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now, Drawn by warmth in the winter, by the food that Mandus distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them, and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce is specifically trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it will be irresponsible, nay unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and the confines of his sick bed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to fame to become the dominant food produce business in the land, or, or produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. He seems like a nice, decent man with nothing to hide. I was being sarcastic in case you didn't figure that much out. Okay, back to this. This is neat. Oh, look, it's crossing everything. And another Biblia. Biblia. I'm gonna walk up the center because something bad will happen, and I'll be in the center.
<laughs> More pigs. God damn it, pig. Trying to cosplay Jesus. You can't do that. Oh, I'm probably gonna get something said to me about that one, but oh well. Never mind. Well, to be fair, there is a pig up there. It's not my fault for making that connection. Anyway. Locked. And open. Can't pull that. Do I have to shovel coal? Or not? Apparently. I guess there's nothing to do here just yet. I must have missed something. Are you hiding things? Absolutely nothing. I must have missed something in the chat, but then I'll have a quick round. Oh, the music stopped. I like that music. Let's see, is there anything interesting around here? Yeah, I really like the design of this place, actually. This is a really cool looking area. And that soundtrack, it was cool. Bibles, Bibles, more Bibles, more Bibles. Jesus, why this place was a chapel or something? Oh, <gasps> Teddy! I found you! <laughs> you are coming with me. Get up. At least I have company now. Besides you, that is, of course. Hey, no slouching on the job. Get back to work. Oh no, did he already clip into something? No, nope, he didn't. He was just trying to be lazy. Silly Teddy. You're not getting away that easily. Um, yeah, let's look around this side. You sit here. Wait for me. Don't even dare move. I'll be unhappy. Anyway. Nothing, 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 more nothing, still nothing, and nothing. A huge surprise that last I was being nothing, no. <sighs> well, I okay, can't, it's not all bad. I mean, I found this guy. I wonder how he got here, though. Now, through this door. Ah! Stop blocking the door. Trying to impede my progress, I see. Well, I don't like that, Teddy. Yeah, he, he really is trying to impede my progress. Or maybe he was trying to get me to stop from backtracking. Uh, he just shoots. Um. God, I hate those sound effects. It looks like if you put like a surfboard beneath him, he'd be surfing. Oh, now he isn't. Hey, thank you, Teddy. Um, where do you go? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna cut this to whenever something interesting happens because it's not been that interesting. I'll see you in a few minutes. Hopefully. And we're back. And whilst I was wandering around, confused, lost, and alone, and lonely. I noticed one thing behind the pig that was trying to cosplay Jesus. There was a candle missing, and I have just found a candle. So I shall bring the candle to the top of the altar. And hopefully not. Yeah, I thought it was going to get stuck in the wall there. That would have been awkward. But anyway, it's good to make progress. Slowly. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, I assume that's fine. And what do I do now? Do I turn you? Do I turn you? Oh. Whoa. What's going on here? Ah, there we go. So now we power this. And just can happen. That's how you professionally turn the lever. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall and I nearly walked into it. Let's go grab Teddy. Because we need a traveling companion. And he's been doing nothing, just sitting here. Well, I figured out all the puzzle. Isn't that right? Well, goodbye, Chapel. I will probably forget about you later on in the game, but I had a good time in there with you for all of that 20 minutes. <laughs> I think that was the door.
Portal closing. Listen, Papa. Hold the act to your ear. You can hear the sea. Hey. Oh, God. Come on. Not a kid. <laughs> I just found you. Just rescued you. Yay. Uh, go on, pick up. Thank you. God damn it, Mr. Teddy. Where are you, Mr. You. Oh, God. Lantern. Stop that. You, you go on ahead, Teddy. No. God damn it, Mr. Teddy. Oh, I know something's gonna happen. Or rather, I hope something will happen. Can I open these? You can't open those. No. God! Damn it! That was a nice jump scare. Stop praying. Holy shit. Go, fight him! Don't just sit there, Teddy, kill him! You're not a very good Teddy, are you? Is he there? Tell me. Tell me. What? He isn't? Okay. Huh, you're alright. I don't even think you can see. I don't even think you can talk. But still, you know that he wasn't there. And more nothing down here. So we press onwards. A lot of the environments look the same. Like that chapel was so impressive because it didn't look like all these places. And it's it's a little bit worrying, to say the least. Because I heard this game hasn't got the best reception. I don't actually know. I haven't actually read any reviews, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. But then again, the game hasn't really started yet, because its main focus is the running and hiding, and that hasn't begun. Eddie? Teddy, do something. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh no. Go away. Oh dear. You know how I just complained about it, like, not starting? And it starts. Isn't it always that way? Take the teddy! Leave me go! Oh god, oh god. Hey, this way! Oh, not that way! What is that thing? Oh Christ! Don't be right there, don't be right there. Just don't be right there, don't be right there. Okay, and we move along. Come on, Mr. Teddy. You can still make it! Oh god, which way do I go? Obviously not that way. 